Hi, I'm Will Chen, System Engineer here at Tech Data. In this session, we will review the software portal, the configuration options, and provision a bare metal server. Let's go and take a look at how we can order or provision a bare metal server within software. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the counts and place an order. And then from here, you have the option of selecting uh, bare metal servers based on hourly or monthly option. Uh, in this demo, we're going to go ahead and select the monthly option. And as you can see here, uh, from a bare metal option perspective, you have the ability to provision single processor servers, dual processor servers, or even quad core, uh, excuse me, quad processor multi core servers. Uh, for the demo, let's go ahead and choose a dual processor server. And the first thing you see here on the selection option or the configurator uh, are these, uh, these check marks. Uh, whenever there is a gray check mark, it means that you have to make a selection uh, in order to proceed. So the first thing we want to do is select the data center. So go ahead and open that up. And as you can see here from software perspective, you have all the available data centers uh, uh, geographically located around the world. Uh, for the demo, let's go ahead and choose uh, Washington, D.C., which is closest to tech data. And then from here, you can actually change some of the settings of the server. Uh, for example, if you wanted to uh, choose a different processor, you can actually do that from here. We'll go ahead and leave it at default. Uh, the next option, I always recommend uh, adding any enhancements to the security if possible. So we'll go ahead and select the Intel TXT. Memory for this particular system is set at 64 gigs. And as you can see here, that can be scaled from 64 gigs all the way up to 512 for this particular bare metal system. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and leave it at 64. Next, we have another gray box, so we do need to make a selection for the operating system. And as you can see here, uh, software offers pretty much your, all your different distributions of, uh, of popular Linux uh, as well as Microsoft and VMware. So if you have customers that are looking for open source products, you've got CentOS, uh, obviously Debian, another popular one. Um, Ubuntu uh, is also very popular. And if the customer wants, uh, you know, obviously Microsoft, they do have that option for this demo. Let's go ahead and look at the Microsoft option. So with Microsoft, when you click on Microsoft, you have the ability to choose the editions of Microsoft, ranging from 2012 uh, Standard Edition all the way up to 2012 Data Center Edition. Uh, for this demo, let's go ahead and choose the 2012 R2 Data Center Edition with Hyper-V. And next, let's go ahead uh, and look at the hard drive configuration. So the base price includes one terabyte uh, SATA drives. Um, if we're going to use this for Hyper-V, let's go ahead and make some uh, modifications to it. I'm going to go ahead and change out the disk drives here. So I'm going to put in some SSDs. Let's put in some uh, 1.2 terabyte SSDs. Let's go ahead and create the RAID group. I'm going to go ahead and put this one at RAID 10. And then the RAID is configured for the server. Next, let's look at the network options. So from here, the amount of bandwidth is included with the server is at 500 gigs. You do have the option of changing that depending on what the customer needs, and that can be scaled from, you know, obviously the 500 gig that's included uh, with the base price of the server, uh, all the way up to uh, unlimited. 
so you do have the ability to make that selection up front if you if you know the bandwidth uh, usage up front uh, obviously we'll leave that there at 500 gigs uh, uplink ports so if you're doing uh, uplink ports you, you see I, IBM does give you the option of going from depending on the, uh, the the speeds you need we can go from 100 megs all the way up to 10 gig uh, pipe from the data center to the on-prem or the customer's location or uh, the interlinks between the data centers uh, so let's go ahead for this example let's go ahead and bump it up uh, since we are going to be doing Hyper-V let's go ahead and do at least uh, one gig redundant public and private network links for now for the demo and then here you can choose IP addresses if you need that for hosting um, IPv6 is no charge let's go ahead and get one provisioned and then if you do need additional IP blocks, if you're doing any kind of hosting, for example, that might be uh, needed for your configuration. Next, we look at some of the specific system add-ons. A lot of these are specific to what you may need. Uh, for example, you do have the ability to add on uh, the vCenter uh, product if you need that for your VMware uh, installation. Some backup uh, agents there control panels this is very popular for uh, some customers that are doing hosting uh, parallel plex for hosting uh, providers and then obviously we do have the ability to offer database uh, from software some open source uh, basho mongodb mysql uh, we do have a relationship with microsoft so if your customers need microsoft sql server you can also provision sql server uh, either the uh, you know, uh, web edition, standard edition, uh, what, or whatever version you need from Microsoft. Let's go ahead and go back, select none for that. Uh, antivirus, you can have uh, preloaded antivirus on the server. Go ahead and put the virus scan on there. That is a zero charge option. Uh, you can obviously load your own antivirus product uh, for your customer if they uh, so choose to do their own. Uh, I always recommend putting the intrusion protection as well. So we'll leave, we'll put that on there as well. And then when you get down to the end here, you do have some advanced monitoring options that you can include with the server. Um, I usually leave these at default for now and then we can always change that depending on what the customer's needs are. And then from a hardware perspective, I always recommend redundant power supplies. Next, we'll look at some storage options. If you want a quick uh, backup solution for your bare metal server, there is the eVault product. And as you can see here, the eVault product is a disk-to-disk -disk, uh, backup solution. And you can purchase that based on the amount of storage you need. Uh, ranging or starting from tw uh, 20 gigabytes all the way up to uh, 2 terabytes. So we'll go ahead and in this case we'll go ahead and provision a little backup for the uh, demo purpose. Let's go and put uh, 100 gig. All right. Evolve plug-in if you need that for bare metal that is an option. And then finally, uh, get to some of the service add-ons. You have host ping, for example, and then you can upgrade that uh, to a, a little bit more advanced uh, feature if you need that. Leave that at, at standard for the for for now. Uh, notifications, notifications for that. Um, let's go ahead and leave. I like to always do. Uh, automated reboot for monitoring on the on the servers. We'll go and change that. And then finally, uh, we have the insurance option from Softlayer, uh, the business continuance insurance, and that uh, I always recommend putting that in there um, for your customers. And that uh, that basically gives them protection against any malicious uh, use. If uh, if you happen to have intrusions upon your system. Uh, for example, if you get uh, someone, you know, ins installing a spam bot on your server and then the uh, bandwidth is uh, overutilized, uh, you would be off the hook for any additional 
bandwidth charges. So for $5, uh, it's, a, it's a value add to make sure that uh, you don't get a surprise bandwidth bill at the end of the month. Uh, and if you're done, you can go back, uh, scroll back here. It will give you a uh, line item summary of uh, the ad, you know, for the system itself. You can review it here, and it'll give you an actual subtotal. It'll give you the uh, the monthly total. And then, when if you're ready to uh, continue the order, go ahead and click continue your order. Okay, so the order summary and billing screen is the next thing you'll see. And from here, again, you can review uh, the features and the, the options you've selected for this particular bare metal server. Um, let's go through and make sure that uh, everything is configured uh, correctly and what we want. Okay. And I, if, that is, if everything is satisfactory, you have two options here. Um, you can place your order uh, on the spot if you're happy with the configuration or you've gotten uh, prior approval from your customer to, to go ahead and place the order. Or if you want to place a quote, and that's what we're going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a quote uh, demo. software quote okay and then that's it just go ahead and hit the save your order and here is a confirmation that the order has been saved and it will be sent to the email that is uh, assigned to your account. And that is the process of ordering or configuring or quoting a bare metal server from software. I hope you found this session useful and informative. If you want to learn more, please check out our other sessions on cloud computing or contact the IBM cloud team here at TechData. Thank you for watching.